On this 43rd straight day of strikes and sixth day of national protest, demonstrators showed their enduring determination as marches got underway around the country. They need to stop taking us for idiots. We're here for the withdrawal of this bloody reform, and we will stay for as long as it takes. Some, though, are straining under the effects of six weeks of unpaid striking. We're very tired. We're investing a lot of time and will soon feel the effects in our wallets. Railway workers, teachers, lawyers and hospital staff were among those to join transport workers on the streets. The common goal remains the same, for the government to ditch its planned overhaul of the pension system. After participation figures dwindled to below 5%, this Thursday saw a small increase, with 10% of workers at the state-run SNCF railways walking out. There was a far cry from early December, when over half left their posts. Over the weekend, the government offered to drop the most controversial element of the reform, plans to raise the retirement age for full pension benefits by two years to 64. While certain moderate unions were won over by this concession, the remaining unions say they won't give up. Some, like the hardline CGT, are setting their sights on a widening of the movement. The strike is still alive. We're talking a lot about the striking at the ports as well. This is a new sector that has amplified the movement since last week. Strike action at ports and power stations saw bulk carriers blocked outside France's major ports and electricity output down by about 9%. As for the French public, an opinion poll on Wednesday found 47% still support the strike. Japan